Okay. So we're starting with 10 kilograms of this cobalt-60, which is actually a metal. It's a hard metal, gray, blue in color, apparently. And it, it disintegrates pretty fast. So after about five years, half of it is left. But So let's start, say we start with 10 kilograms of this metal. And uh, let me draw it. So so here we go. So that's what we be, we begin with, right? That's our 10 kilograms, right? So after one half life, how many years is that, by the way? One half life is good. So after this amount of years, how much is left? Good. Five grams. Or five kilograms. Correct. Yep. And it looks like this. Now we just have about half left, right? The rest is disintegrated. Okay. Make sense? So fill out the row for two half lives. How much is left? How many years has that been? Good, yep. So just how many years is two half lives? You just go five, uh, what is it? 5.27 times two, and we get 10.54. So 10.54 years, yep. And how much is left? Good, 2.5 kilograms is left, and it looks like this, because it's half of the previous amount. So it's, it's that, right? That's what's left. Okay. Um, after three half lives, how much is left and how many years has that been? Good. Yeah, half of the 2.5, which is just 1.25 kilograms left, and that looks like this. Yep. And how many years has that been? Good job. Yep, just 5.27 times three, 15.81 years, 15.81 years, right? Now, how about 17 half-lives? How much is remaining and how many years has that been? Good job, so we just go 5.27 uh, times uh, 17, 89.59 years, all, almost 19 years, almost 90, almost 90 years, and how much, how many kilograms have we got left of this cobalt 60? Well, it's 17 half-lives. So we're going to have to think about perhaps making a little formula to figure this one out, right? All right. So let's think from, and from our previous practice, what formula can we come up with to figure the amount remaining? Give you a lot of zeros, yeah. But what 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 calculation did you do? Good. Ten is one half, yeah. To the power of seventeen. That is correct. Same as before. We to get from ten to five, we multiply ten by a half. That was just ten times a half. To get to two point five half again, it was just ten times a half times a half again, or 10 times a half squared. To get to 1.25, it was 10 times a half cubed, and so on. So for 17 half lives, it's just 10 times a half to the power of 17. 
and then the calculator 10 star 0 0.5 to the power of 70. And yeah, that's going to give you a very small number, 10 star 0 0.5 to the power of 17, and that gives us um, uh, 0 0.1234, so 1234, uh, 7, 6, uh, approximately kg, kilograms. And by the way, what's that in grams? Well, there's a thousand kilograms, I'm oh, sorry, a thousand grams equals one kilogram. So if I move the decimal point over one, two, three spots, now we have it in grams. So that's 0 0.076 grams, right? There's a thousand kilograms, a thousand grams is one kilogram. So this small amount of kilograms, we basically multiply that by a thousand to get to turn it into grams, right? And um, yeah, real quick, I just want to go over the unit analysis for that is uh, 0 0.000076 kg over one, and we times that by 1,000 g over one kg and the kilograms cross cancel uh, and so we get that all right so um, so how much is left after t half lives all right so you were saying I think you got it there for t half lives the formula is going to be 10 times a half to the power of, beautiful, lovely. Okay, so now the question is, okay, a hundred years is how many half-lives and how much remaining of this, of this substance, right? Oh, good job, 90, uh, good job, so, so a hundred, well, it's going to be more than 17 for sure, but if, the trick is if we go a hundred over 5.27. That's given us 18.97, so approximately 19 half lives, right? Good job, yep. And in our formula, how do we figure out the amount remaining? Good job. So approximately 10 times a half power 19. Um, so in a calculator, 10 times 0 0.5 to the power of 19. Or if you want to be really accurate, instead of rounding that number that we're going to use for this part of a calculation, just put in 100 divided by 5.27. And that will give us the accurate answer, right? So 10 times 0 0.5, I'll just do it both ways. So the power of 19 gives me that. And 10 times 0 0.5 to the power of 100 over 5.27 gives me that. So um, either way, it's, it's approximately... 0. Um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00019 kilograms, and turning that into grams, again, I'll just do a quick unit, that unit analysis of 0. 0.00019 uh, 0, 0, kg over 1. And remember that 1,000 grams is the same thing as one kilogram. Kilo is the Latin for 1,000. So 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. And if I just say, okay, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And these kilograms cross cancel. And so I'm just multiplying this thing by 1,000. So I go that thing 
times 1,000, and I get that thing, 0 0.19. So approximately 0 0.19, or sorry, 0 0.0, 0 0.019 grams, right? Or in other words, to turn kilograms to grams, you've just moved the decimal point over one, two, three spots and put it there, right? So anyway, yep, that's that. Perfect. Rocking. Um, uh, let's see. Should we? Do you want one more? We, I think we're good. Are we good? Okay. That was the last.